<laughs> Great, thank you. Oh, hi, Peter. Hello, hello. I'm fine. I can hear you. I hope you can hear me. Amazing, perfect. I can hear you. Lovely. Oh, it's so hello. nice to meet you. I'm Maddie from Movie Metropolis. How's your day going? Uh, uh, fine. I'm always enjoying a moment when I'm being in London. So, yes, it's going great. Oh, great. Nice yeah, it's lovely, yeah. What have you got on the, on the itinerary for today? Is it just lots of interviews? Uh, yes, but I am just after one, so I hope I will not repeat myself. Um, uh, <laughs> so I'm quite fresh for 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 the interviewing, and then because of that, maybe my English will you know will you'll find gaps in it, and, uh, and but I hope <laughs> sure you'll be it will we'll go smoothly. Great. Okay, well, I'll get right into it. Um, my first question was, you've played quite a lot of different roles. You've played historical roles. Recently, you've done more comedic characters, like with Hawkeye. So what is it that attracts you to a role? Author. Uh, it's like, you know, <laughs> it's my job. Um, I'm attracted to to, to, to this craft, to, to be cast and to have the... It's, it's, it's a great... Job, you know, being an actor has a, it's a lot, lot of pluses and uh, a lot of reasons I love to do it. Of course, it has, a, you know, shadows as well and black sides. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes popularity could be um, difficult, um, but you know, I'm I'm quite. Uh, it's 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 good because my popularity is a very local one, a Polish one. So so it's a it's a different story, but. I always like to portray different characters and uh, different genres, um, and and also you know you could uh, develop your craft and skill in being a voice actor, voiceover actor, a theatrical actor, dubbing actor. Uh, there's a lot of different styles you could uh, uh, enjoy uh, um, working as an actor, um, but. It's always the great pleasure to have different characters and uh, meeting different people. Um, so uh, Stefan in Up on the Roof is a good guy. Uh, um, to be honest, the, the 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 Thomas from Hawkeye is as well a good guy. And, and he is uh, a gangster, but you know, a gangster could have a lovable um, uh, soul as well. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Great answer. And um, what do you think the biggest similarity is between yourself and your character in Upon the Roof? Um, the biggest similarities between... Uh, yes, between yourself and your character in the film. You know, uh, at the beginning, I was like worried when I uh, received this part that, you know, a, a lead uh, um, um, role in English uh, for a Polish actor in the uh, uh, romantic comedy or or, or romance, uh, as you could call um, this um, film we are talking about, Up on the Roof. Um, it's a difficult task for, for me. So uh, when I came to, to London, it was a pandemic time. So it was actually, you know, we were we, we had a lot of difficulties around. Um, um, I was I was thinking, oh, oh gosh, will, will I, will it be too heavy on my shoulder? But uh, to 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 big barn, but uh, it was not because my character is Polish and he's struggling with English as well. Um, so that's one very important similarity. Uh, and also, I love to cook. Uh, I'm a corner of the restaurant in Warsaw, so, so I know this um, ah, this world, the, the, the gastronomic world, uh, quite well. And my character is a chef. He's a very talented chef uh, with the dreams to, to have a restaurant. And also, when I was a young person, I was coming to London to work. I was uh, earning two pounds per uh, an hour <laughs> as a construction worker. So, you know, I know this immigrant life uh, as well a little bit. And the Up on the Roof is telling the story uh, about the group of friends, immigrants in London, people who are chasing their dreams here. Uh, everybody for, is from ev from the different part of the world, and um, and my character is meeting a, a love of uh, his life. He uh, um, lost contact with uh, fifteen years ago, or something like that. And um, it's about second chance and love. It's a very a feel good movie, you know. Not um, 
um like 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 you you could enjoy time uh, uh watching it uh without you know it's 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 you know f f yesterday we had a screening uh, and I was I was very glad with how how it was received. That people were like, "Oh my God, I feel so so light after this screening." It is, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was it was great. So so we had uh, we had a good uh, reviews after after this screening. I'm I'm very glad about this. Oh great! I totally agree with that. I love the film. I think I felt light as well afterwards. But yeah, it was brilliant. But uh, my, my next... not, we are not promising anymore, right? Well, there is not. It's not action movie. You will not be. You know, it's, it's not scary movie. It's a. It's just a feel good movie. You know, yeah. and, and, and nice time funny. to spend with your friends to watch it, and then go and uh, have a drink and uh, and. Uh, and enjoy company with others, and mm -hmm. you know, especially this time when the the cinema is in difficult position. I am observing what's going on in Poland and abroad as well. Mm, the numbers of viewers uh, on the screenings before, like pre-pandemic, were like were like quadruple or even ten times more than to 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 today. Um, uh, you know, we we have uh, this, this subscription. Uh, uh, I don't know. I have networks and you know um, Netflix, Amazon, and uh, it's much easier to have uh, entertainment at home. And um, maybe young generation forgot about going to the cinema with uh, loved ones. I don't know why, but yeah, yeah, we are slowly coming back to to the custom and habit of going to the cinema once in a while, and uh, and I hope it will return because there is no way. Uh, you could enjoy the film made for cinema um, on the television set uh, alone. You know, the film art is planned to be for the audience. You're, you're when you are in the group of people. We are the very, uh, you know, the, the human beings want to be with, the, with each other. Uh, so, so enjoying the film in the cinema is something completely different than uh, watching it alone. Um, so I recommend coming back to the cinema, not, all, not only on the, I'm not saying only about the, up on the roof, I'm saying about cinema at all, you know, uh, come back <laughs> uh, to cinema because it's um, it's amazing. I, lo I, I, I love, I love, I can't imagine watching some films alone. Uh, I have to be in the group of people. Yeah. No, going to the cinema is definitely an experience. I agree with you for sure. I think, and going back to what you were saying about like your role as well and how you felt very interconnected to it, do you think that's a part of why your and Natalia's relationship on screen feels so realistic in the movie? Um, th thank you for saying that. Uh, if it's realistic, it's a big compliment, the most important compliment for an actor. Great. Uh, yes, we were enjoying our company a lot. Uh, Sometimes you meet actors who, with whom you don't have to try, you don't have to act. It's it's just being, listening to the partner. You know, following uh, um, Natalia's step was steps were was the way I was actually doing it. And uh, and it yes, and 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 we we both felt it's like a good connection, like like we are building it up um sometimes out of really nothing but um uh that's a pleasure of, of being on set with talented actors and i was very happy to to meet not only parker uh, or uh, moyo um, uh, akande it was like a, so many great actors in our film which was like a small you know like a very i don't know if uh I don't know how actually how to how to how to name it. Um, uh, um, but it, because probably because of the pandemic and everybody was so hungry of being on set again, uh, we didn't have any problems convincing actors uh, and you know even small one-liner parts uh, were delivered by uh, uh, good names, great actors. So I, I, it was a pleasure for me to. It was a easy to watch rom com. Uh, um, yeah. So 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 yeah. It was a, a great time. I'm uh, now happy to go on the streets of London, full of people, crowded, and I remind myself about the times we were shooting this film, and we have to actually. Mm, mm, 
uh, hire extras to to fill the streets of London to have a background <laughs> because there was no you know it was it was completely different town at that time okay. every world you know the world stopped you, you we know uh, we all remember that um, but it's strange to watch the film now and oh it's quite natural but we had to make it natural at that time I can't even imagine that wow that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, all the characters in this film do feel very real, though. But because you've done so many like historical and now fancy roles in voice acting, do you find it easier to get into the headspace of these more ordinary characters? Uh, if you could uh, uh, say it again, probably using different, not so fancy words, I, I could follow your question. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't worry. Um, do you find it easier to get into the headspace? of more normal characters like the ones in this rom-com instead of say like the tracksuit mafia members in Hawkeye or like, you know, like bigger characters? Uh, you know, sometimes the, the difficulty for an actor is, uh, it's, 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 it's so difficult to answer in the general way. If, yeah. um, we could find something which is difficult for us in something unexpected, uh, unexpected at all. Um, um, I didn't find it difficult to play uh, Stefan in uh, Up on the Roof because it's, as you said, it's close to me. It's uh, like I, I know this, I know the stuff. Um, adding some Polish words, words or or mentality, Polish mentality was natural to me. Um, um, my Hawkeye character as well. He's he's. Uh, He's Polish. Um, maybe I had some difficulties playing, for example, uh, uh, Sergei Nikulov in For All Mankind, which is a great series I recommend it. It's on Apple TV, and uh, lately I finished the fourth season of it. Um, but also I, I felt uh, prepared in the way uh, because I understood the communistic way of life, and my character is out of a communistic Russia, uh, it's alternative history, so the, uh, the the Soviet Union didn't collapse in our version of history. Uh, it's it's a story based on the one change in the history. What would happen if Russians were first first on the moon? Mm -hmm. And uh, and actually, it, this small change is a big change of for the history of the world. I recommend this series. Um, but you know, so so. In, in the way I understood the character, the because I remember communistic times in Poland, um, it was probably difficult for me to to be credible as, as Russian. Uh, but also I speak Russian, so it it, it was some help. I I believe that every uh, experience in actor's life, uh, every book, every person you meet, could help in the future. Uh, because you could use it uh, in your next roles, next parts. Um, when I was playing Chopin, for example, the most difficult stuff was to be credible as a genius, uh, uh, to to be able to play piano, and I'm not playing piano. So to fake it as good uh, it, that it would be credible. Um, so that was the part I was really concentrated on. Every time, it's a different problem which is the most important for the, for you personally but it's so uh individual that it's really i can't actually answer your question um in a general way i could i could just use some examples okay great that's fair um your methods of getting into character completely different depending on who the character is and what the genre of the film is um, if, if it's if it's difficult to 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 be a like completely different to be a credible as a completely different actor uh, a, a character, um, I I could say about uh, Night Sky, um, yeah, that's on uh, Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. um, a role of a very bad guy from another planet. Uh, so you know that's something that you can't <laughs> even have a connection with. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, it's a matter of your imagination, how somebody raised on a different planet could speak, um, uh, how he is even walking, because, you know, what, what's the, what, what he, is he used to 
what the life on this another planet is like. Well, um, so so it's, 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 this is like a great experience for an actor to, to feel it with so many, you know, to open your mind and think about so many different stuff you could use um, to be interesting uh, as a character. So that was probably one of the difficult uh, tasks. Yeah. Um, but I love difficult tasks as well. Uh, um, sometimes something which is not coming easy is uh, is better for you. Um, that's what I believe in. Yeah. I hope you got your uh, question right and my answer is like good for no, you. Yeah, right? your answer was great. Yeah, no, it's very interesting to hear you talk about the different roles you've been in. Yeah. Um, I'm going to throw a bit of a curveball and do a bit of a random question now, but if your life was a romantic movie, what song would you want to play at the climax of the big romantic scene? What? <laughs> it's a hard question. <laughs> Yes, so, so once again, please, just, just so I will understand every word. Um, uh, can you... If your life was a rom-com, what song would you like to play at like the big romantic climax of the film? Gosh. Um, you know, to be honest, I would, I would love to... I'm, I'm, I'm completely... Uh, uh, um, <laughs> I probably the, the 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 good choice would be to to do something controversial, you know, completely not romantic at all. And uh, Interesting. Uh, why not? I I always believe that something new, something uh, which is out of the scheme, uh, is a better choice. So if you are giving me a, this kind of freedom mm -hmm. to choose, I would I would go for a, a some rap song, for example, or a, or, okay. or 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 heavy metal. Why not? Could be, and you know, if you if maybe that's a good idea. You know, I, in the kitchen, I'm cooking sometimes. I like to do something like out of uh, space, like like completely absurd, and sometimes it works. Um, so why not to try uh, something new and fresh? What a great answer and how unexpected! I'd love to see a heavy metal song, a uh, romantic oh climax. That would be amazing. <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, so at Movie Metropolis, we have two last questions that we like to ask everyone. Um, first one's a really hard one. It's what is your favorite film of all time? Okay, that's an easy answer for me. So, okay. uh, I was uh, trying to avoid some lessons when I was a teenager, of course. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English when you skip the school. Uh, oh, um, like bunking off school, we'd say? Something like that, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I was going to the cinema, which uh, was special, which was specialized in showing old films. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was uh, great at that time because when I sneaked into the cinema with one ticket for one screening, I could actually stay in the cinema for a few screenings. Mm -hmm. Nobody was checking uh, if uh, somebody is left <laughs> in the uh, in in the screening room. Uh, so so I remember I watched The Graduate with Dustin Hoffman mm -hmm. five times in a row. Uh, and that's a great experience. Oh, every I time, think... every time I was watching the, like, it again and again, I've seen something else in his performance, in the performance of other actors. And, uh, and, and that was at the time, it was a, I was in the age of the character as well. So I in, in identified myself with the character. Yeah. And that was, um, I, I think I still remember every scene. Uh, uh, so yeah, my favorite uh, film, it will be uh, The Graduate. Uh, Great choice, yeah. I mean, you saw it a lot of times as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and what, the last question is, what's your favorite movie snack as well? So what would you have wanted to take into The Graduate? What, what my what's my um, favorite my favorite movie snack like popcorn chocolate oh a snack okay mm. um huh huh i just want to be a more original than popcorn <laughs> yeah, popcorn's a good one it's a classic for a reason but, you know it, sometimes i'm choosing the cinema because they are giving a good popcorn mm -hmm. um this is important thing but also you have to be careful when you 
take popcorn, uh, you, you have to know what film you are going to see. Some okay. films are not good. I remember I went with a group of my friends to see Cutting of Andrzej Wajda, which is a film based on a historical events in Poland when um, during World War II, uh, thousands of Polish generals, officers were killed by Russians. And, you know, I was, I was like, I said, are you sure you want to take popcorn to this screening? And they said, oh, oh yeah. And then they were just watching this film, keeping the whole popcorn, you know, the whole bucket uh, without even trying it, trying any bite, because the film was about something real about some difficult time of Polish, of Polish history. And it was, you know, unpolite to eat during this screening. So yes, sometimes I prefer not to eat at all, just enjoy, feed myself, feed my soul, mm. uh, yeah. not my soul. <laughs> so it's popcorn depending on the situation. But... Yes, that's that's my choice. But uh, I would recommend as well uh, some other snacks like you know peanuts maybe or something which is not very crunchy, <laughs> yeah. not to disturb anybody else. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I'm out of time with you. I think I might be. But it's been okay. a lovely time talking to you, Pierre. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank I you, love Maddie. I love you in it. Yeah, it's been great ch chatting. Thank you. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm happy you had me here. Um, and uh, yes, all the best for you and come to Poland. Uh, that's, yes. That's a beautiful country and we are a very hospitable nation. I would, yeah, I would love to come to Poland. I'll definitely uh -huh. take that into consideration. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very Bye. much. Lovely Great talking you. to you. Bye. Bye-bye.